All right, so welcome to this training video. Now we'll start with setting up GST. So first setup in GST is accounting period setup. So let's jump into that. So the first thing you need to understand is NAV accounting period and GST accounting period are different. So there's a separate process that you create NAV accounting period from April to March. And uh, similarly, you were going to create GST accounting period. The GST accounting period setup is created as per NAV fiscal accounting period. So for the same period, you are going to create GST accounting period. And then the GST sub accounting periods are created for months. So first you create GST accounting period for the year and then you are going to create GST sub accounting period for months. All right. So let's see how we can set up GST accounting period in Dynamics NAV. All right. So here we go. This is Dynamics NAV as you can see the version. So we'll go to help about and it's Dynamics NAV 2016 Indian version and it is GST compliant. And uh, what I have done is uh, I have created all the masters same as the Cronus India. So you can see the chart of accounts and all the other setups have been already done. So it has all the other setups except the GST. So let's go ahead and do the GST setup. So for that, we'll go under financial management, click setup and there you will have GST. So the first thing you have is GST accounting period. So let's click on that and you might not see any data. So I have already created this one so that you can see and I'm going to create also one so that you can see how it looks like. And under each accounting period, you have sub accounting periods. So you can click on sub accounting periods under action and you will see for the 12 month, right? So let's create the accounting period. So what you do is just click on new and here you need to select the start date now for india it's first april 2017 to 31st march 2018 so i'm going to select april first and as soon as i come out of this field you will see that the system automatically populates the ending date right so the ending date is is created now now to see the sub accounting periods you can just see here go to actions and click gst sub accounting period and here you will see the, that you don't have anything in the sub accounting period. So for that, you need to create one. So you can just click on create sub accounting period. And from there, you need to put the start date. So by default, it will populate the date. If not, then you need to select the date. So number of periods are 12 and the period length is one month and just click OK. So now it's created. You can just select the line which you have recently created and click GST sub accounting period. Okay. So it starts with April, 2017, May, June, July till March, 2018, right? So the GST accounting period is created. So this is mandatory for you to set up before you can start the configuration of GST. All right. So this is how you can set up GST accounting period. It's a one-time activity every year you do once. This is same as uh, NAV fiscal year. Right. So this is how you can set up GST accounting period. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next year's tutorial.